Quirky, cool and enormously collectible, the work of the Martin brothers, a group of Victorian potters working in West London, is hugely sought after. And this incredible collection that we have for sale at Dawson's Auctioneers in September 2019 really illustrates the enormous variety and the creativity of this enormously talented family. The collection was amassed by a master builder called Samuel Avery in the early part of the 20th century. He became very close to the Martin brothers themselves, even sort of socialising with them um, and visiting the pottery direct rather than the shop in Holborn. And there's an interesting point, because most of these pieces have never been put out to market. They were never sold mainly because Avery bought them direct from the Martin brothers, his friends, at the pottery. They didn't even reach the shop in Holborn. And I think that freshness to market is a critical point. We as collectors and, and dealers in the market in general love pieces that haven't been seen before. I think in terms of standout pieces, I've selected my favourite items which are here. Of course, you can't think about Martin Brothers without thinking about their famous Wally birds, these colourful, cool and incredibly characterful birds. And this little trio set, estimated at 25 to £35,000, is absolutely typical. And one might think of these tobacco jars as being very static objects, but I think really the life, the character and the emotion of Martin Brothers pottery comes to the fore because, of course, you can lift off the heads like this to access the tobacco, but because they move, you can also pose them to give each and every one a little look. They can look away to the side or back into each other, sort of interactive sculptural pottery. More unusual, and I'm all about sort of thinking about different uses for things, are these lids from much larger Wally birds. Again, they've got that typical character and emotion that you would expect to see from a piece of Martin Brothers. And you might think, well, what's the point in buying something like that? It's effectively an eighth or a sixth of, of a much larger piece. Well, I kind of looked at these this morning and thought to myself, wouldn't they look great? sort of mounted on wood and used as a sort of desk accessory or even a paperweight, sort of staring at you with their little beady eyes. Just in case you don't happen to have 25 to 35,000 pounds hanging around down the back of the sofa, not everything that um, the Martin Brothers produced is exceptionally expensive. Always look and don't disregard broken or damaged pieces of Martin Brothers because they can represent an extremely good and accessible way to get in to own a piece of the pottery without spending a fortune. So as you might notice just on the rim here, this rather beautiful incised foliate vase it is damaged and chipped and there's a little crack running down the side. But as a very good friend of mine once told me, if you just turn it round, it's gone. And I think with an estimate of somewhere between three and four hundred pounds, it's a very easy way to own a piece of this legendary pottery for well under a thousand pounds. The Martin brothers are firmly placed as being important within the lexicon of Victorian and early 20th century pottery. They very much represent that transition between these two ages from very high style, high Victorian pottery into the studio pottery and the sort of influx and in input of character and emotion in the 20th century pottery. It is incredible to have such a large collection for sale, especially from a single owner. And this amazing collection, valued at somewhere between 80 and 100, maybe even 120,000 pounds, is one of the largest single owner collections of Martin Brothers pottery ever to come to sale by auction.